Welcome back to the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. It is day 23 of our whiskey advent calendar, and we have another great bottle. You know, earlier last week, we were just like shitter after shitter. Now we're going hitter after hitter. Uh, so we are on to day 23. It's the day before our last day of the advent calendar. I've recorded like 10 videos in a row, so I don't even care what happens in this video. We are reviewing Four Roses, single barrel, barrel strength, this is a store pick I actually got at Meyer, uh, which is a big chain store here. So uh, the Four Roses recipe is OBSF. That's 35% rye. This was aged nine, year, nine years, 11 months. Um, as you guys may or may not know, Four Roses has lots of yeast strains. I know nothing about OBSF. I have not done any research on this, and I do not care. So <laughs> you guys have Google, so I'm giving you one Google free search. You guys can go look up what OBSF yeast strain is for Four Roses and decide whether you like today's pick. Let's get into this. Oh, man. The nose on this is fantastic. Really nice. Um, really vibrant. Really floral. Now, we had uh, some Four Roses earlier. Well, we had Bullet, which we think is distilled from Four Roses. And I was not a fan. I'm usually not a crazy fan of Four Roses, but... Um, anytime I see these uh, barrel strength picks, I'm just going to get them because <clears throat> they're they're highly sought after. Um, a lot of people really like them. So I like to have them in my bar when people come over. Everybody's palate's different. So, But I am digging the nose on this. Very floral. little minty. There's a little bit of uh, mint in there. Caramel. A lot of fruitiness to it. I can't really identify the fruits. Kind of like in the uh, 1792, that like fruit cocktail note, just like a bunch of fruit syrup, but uh, definitely like caramel, sugar, fruit, herbalness, and some mintiness. There's a little bit of uh, mintiness there. So let's go into the palette. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Yeah, there's that like herbal almost spearmint note that kind of throws me off right on the front of my palate i started to get a lot of sweet sweet notes that i was like oh this is going to be nice and then it turned herbal minty and kind of funky for me and i just don't know that four roses is my thing all the time it's just not um but again everybody's palate's different so some of you guys are going to absolutely love this i think i think it's a really good bourbon It's got some tobacco notes in there, caramel, fruitiness, and some earthiness. There is some earthiness in there. Like, I don't I'll kick some bottles, man. We are getting deep in these advent <laughs> calendar videos. <laughs> it's um, almost like, I don't know if it's like mushroom or some kind of, I don't know, it's weird. There's some earthiness in there that I'm not sure that I'm crazy about. It's not really off-putting either. It's weird. Like I could drink this, but it's not something I would reach for, if that makes sense. Um, I would taste it and I think I would know it's an expensive bourbon, uh, but it's not one I'm crazy about. So, uh, but it is a special bottle because these, these single barrel uh, Four Roses picks are really hard to find. And this was the first one I found. Again, this is a high rise, so it does have that rye spice on the back end of the palate. Nice long finish. Uh, just a little funky for me, but it's definitely different. It's a right turn from where we've been in the advent calendar um, so far. We've had, you know, this year we did a lot of Wild Turkey, a lot of Knob Creek, a lot of your classic bourbons, um, and then we did some Rise on Friday. So to throw a Four Roses in there, really kind of cool to see um, how bourbon can, how a bourbon company can set itself apart and be a little bit unique. And Four Roses is definitely unique. When you taste a Four Roses blind, I can kind of tell it's Four Roses. I know that's what it is. Um, so I admire that about the company. Doing something unique that sets themselves apart from everyone else is special. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, day 23. We are moving on to the last day of the advent calendar. My liver is going to be so appreciative. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>